I had a comment the other day on one of my videos. I found a few dead bees on my landing board. I swept them off, returned the next day, there was a few more. Should I be concerned? Well, I want to answer that for you today. To be honest though, the answer to that question is kind of tricky. Um, it's normal to see a little death throughout winter. What you're going to see is you're going to see your summer bees starting to die off and that's going to happen um, kind of like a trickle effect. It's not going to all happen in a few, few days. It's going to uh, trickle out throughout the winter. Um, probably more from now until midwinter and then the later part of the winter, the bees that you see dying, um, then I would say are more likely your winter bees starting to die off. Maybe some of your late summer bees, but by late winter, usually your summer bees have died off. So in a normal situation, when you go to your hive and you look at your landing board, it could be normal to see anywhere from 5, 10, 15, maybe even 25 bees. But if you see two to 300 bees, um, and you sweep it off and you come back the next day and there's just that many more bees on the landing board again, then yeah, that would flag um, a siren. Yeah, something is wrong. But to find 10, 15, maybe 20 a day, that could be normal this time of year. Um, one thing you do want to take a note on though, is as these summer bees die off and they fall to the landing board, what can happen is they can plug up your uh, entrance on your landing board. So what I like to do is take a small twig, stick back in there and rake them to one side or try and rake them outward. Um, normally though, what I do is I take my entrance reducer, and instead of putting the slot down towards the bottom board, I put the slot up towards the hive. And what that does is gives a little bit of space for dead bees to land and the bees can still go up and over to get out the entrance. So don't be scared if you see um, small quantities of bees starting to die. Completely normal behavior. Um, it's our winter bees that we want to uh, worry about right now. And that's why I enforce, come August, we start building up our colonies and treating for mites. We want our winter bees to be nice and strong going into the colder months. I got a couple videos I'm going to link up here in the corner. And um, if you're a first time beekeeper or new to beekeeping, Take a minute and watch them. I want you to understand how bees respond in cold weather because they do almost look dead. So don't get this confused with the bees on your landing board. Most likely those are dead bees. But if you watch up here in the corner, um, you're gonna understand what torpor does for bees and how bees respond in torpor. And then there's a video up there of where I took some bees that were in torpor, um, put them in my hand and I blew in my hand and you can see those bees come back to life. So it shows how warming them up um, can take them out of the torpor state and bring them back to, uh, to consciousness, I guess. Um, so don't be quick to think your bees are dead um, if you find hundreds and hundreds of dead bees and it's still cold. Wait for warmer weather. So if you've got any questions or concerns that you would like answered in a video, please take time to leave them down in the comments section. Um, if you have any questions about today's video, you can also leave those down there. If you haven't subscribed, please take a minute to do so. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Have a great week.